Okay, this is just natural light. No lights are on in here. This window is open. Okay, this is with the 300D at 100%. It's pointed at the closed curtains in a similar shape to when the windows were open, blacked out room, and bounced light. Same setup. The light that's bouncing off of these curtains has been shaped to six or seven foot by eight inch strip. And we'll drop an ND. The spotlight is shaped a little bit this time and it's right off of here pointing directly at me at 100%. From here on the monitor right now it looks like there's a spotlight on me because sun coming in the room would kind of fill up the space a little more. Alright, this is the same exact setup as before but the spotlight was taken off of the 300D and the 300D was placed on the stand, same, same position and everything. The light isn't on the ceiling at all. Same setup but with the Fresnel at flood. 300D with nothing on it, back behind the camera. Okay, same as before, but with the Fresnel on there, you can see it's much brighter. And spot, wicked bright. This is with the spotlight, 100%. Looks a little more sourcey. Probably need to get this a little bit further away. The light is in the same spot as before, but it's bouncing off of a white t-shirt. Because of the size of it and that it's six feet away from me, it might be a little harder than what we want. I'm talking to somebody or there's a scene in a movie where I'm down here and I look up like this, or somebody's coming in and I'm interacting with somebody over here. It works well for that. This shirt is on a stack of pillows on a chair, so it's a little bit low. Not trying to spend all day, but if we raise that up, we would be looking good right here. All right, this is the same exact setup as before, except I opened these. So it would be similar to if I had another light source, we could bounce it off of the shades like how we originally did. And you can see, this is just with the window open. I'm kind of sandwiched with light here. Uh, the, the move that might be right is to put that shirt over here and bring the light around and bounce it at that shirt to you know, wrap the light around a little more. A 55 inch TV maybe right here, 60 inch TV with two t-shirts hung over it. So now we'll just see what those look like without the daylight, with nothing, and with that bouncing off of that. So that, I mean, this is more of like getting close to interview lighting. The light is behind me, but it's also giving me some return from right here. If I'm going here, for example. Another something interesting, uh, there's a credenza right here, a beige pelican, brown floor, a reddish carpet. The light is just pointed into this general area, not off of anything white. All right, here's another one, pretty flat. Uh, the light is just kind of pointed on the wall in front of me over here. I'm gonna move it above, like directly above my head, a totally different look in like two seconds and now you can see the light is coming more from the back. And it is now, you know, more backlighting me. It's still coming on the top a little bit, but what I think is happening is this Pro Mist, 1 8 So I, I think that just with this combination of this lens that I'm using and tests that I did before I started rolling on all this, that the Pro Mist, when there's light lighting up the wall. It's just kind of like ghosting the lens a little bit or just like flaring a little too much, but we can't just take the Pro Mist off if we've been shooting like that the whole day. So I'm gonna put this back on. Too hazy. This is more like a tube light. So yeah, it looks a little bit less ghosty. I'm gonna drop two stops in the ND and bring down that exposure in post a little bit. Okay, we have another scenario here. Uh, the light is over here, pointed behind me. There's a window shade gobo that has been rotated 90 degrees, thrown out of focus, and the light is panned so that the edge of it is here, but it's panned over this way more, stopping maybe a foot 
behind me to give me something here on the closed curtains. And then, you know, possibly get some more light wrapping around. So again, this is bouncing off of the t-shirts that are on the wall. And then the last thing that I may consider doing would be putting some backlight on me, but um, I'm not gonna do that right now. So this is what we have without that. All right, that's it.